Maybe oh, it's great. Maybe, maybe, maybe my grandfather fucking was a great man. I don't know, because I never knew my grandfather. Right, right. I, I never knew him. You know what? My, my father never knew his grandfather. My grandfather never knew his grandfather. I could trace, I could trace my own lineage. I, I could, that's Satan. That's Satan. That's Satan. That's all it is. That's Satan. Well, I, I'm actually like just telling you, um, I can trace my own lineage back four generations. Okay. And I know that one grandfather has never met his grandson on my father's side. So that means I never met my grandfather on my father's side. My father never met his grandfather. My grandfather never met his grandfather. Mm -hmm. My grandfather's grandfather never met his grandfather. Yeah. And I could trace that back four generations. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is we've grown from this. We've married different people. We've come into different lives. We've just accepted each other. Okay. And, and now I'm here and I'm standing on the street with you and I really respect what you're doing here. I don't want you to judge me in any single way. Well, the scriptures say judge rights is judgment, right? The word judge just simply means to uh, make a decision and things of the nature. So, you know, realistically, I judge everybody every day. I judge myself every day. You okay. understand what I'm saying? I and, I, and I know when people use the word judge, it's usually some form of harsh criticism, bashing. Right. That I, I, I can't operate like that. That's because fair. That, that's because fair. it's not spiritual. I can't operate like that. Love that's that. why I didn't, that's why when you came up, I wasn't like, get out of here, white man. I didn't say that. I didn't say anything because I don't know who you are. Right. You know, the scriptures say, you know, uh, you may be entertaining angels. Dude. I don't, I don't know who anybody is. So Absolutely. I have to move with the utmost caution as much as I can. That's things fair, of that nature. That, that's good. That's you know? good. That's good. But cause concerning, concerning so-called white people or concerning the seed of Esau, Edom, you know, who I, you know, uh, got for you in the scripture, there's there's going to be a, a grievous judgment coming toward the people, coming toward those people, because uh, uh, later on, when you, you can read Genesis, the 27th chapter for yourself in your own time, if you, you know, uh, uh, you know, choose to believe in things of that nature, Esau, Edom, he, he went, he went after for generations and generations to kill his brother Jacob because of a birthright that mm. he gave up. And things of that nature. And, and so now this whole fight between the so-called black man, Latin man, and, and Native Americans against all of them against the so-called whites is because of that birthright that was given up. And stuff that he gave up. So he did it to himself. Yeah. That's so so going back all the way back to the Bible, that's where the hatred between our people come off I'll come up as and stuff like that. And this is all of these things right here that they did to the so-called blacks, Latins, and Native Americans, all of this is, is because of that hatred. They want to be the chosen people, but they they're not able to. But is this against the the, the, the white man? Like, is this against the Israelis? Is it, is this? Uh, well, it, yeah, th th this is this. What because what these people did, what the what the so-called white people did, they and they did all of these things. The Lord has to pay them back for that. The Lord has to pay, and and, and that's and that's also in the, like you all believe right. in karma, right? I do, I do believe in karma. It, it, it's the, the Most High is all about that karma. I, I understand, man. Like, you know. But 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 it ain't my debt to pay. Like I'm, I am so with you. Uh huh. I don't feel it's my debt to pay. What? Why? Why am I fucking paying for what your fathers or grandfather possibly did and things of that nature? Maybe, maybe I don't know. Check, I don't know. Check this out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter fourteen, verse twenty-one. Right, and and this is this is straight biblical. I'm not giving you my opinions or emotion. This is biblical. This is what I believe in, okay. right? Okay. Because you, you said, why, you know, why is, should you go back to Esau, Edom? You're, I don't you're know. You're ready. Give right? it to me, dude. Give it this to me. This is the book of Isaiah. Dude, tell me. Chapter 14, verse 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon, talking about America, the name and remnant and son and nephew saith the Lord. Okay, so the Lord said prepare slaughter for children for the iniquity of their fathers because there's been many white people who come up to brothers, not just me, but brothers that, that's doing what I'm doing and they may say, oh, I wasn't there, you know what I'm saying, so on and so forth. No, of course, you physically may have not been there, 
but your father was or your grandfather or your great grandfather was. Okay. Just like we have to pick okay. up the debts for the crimes that our forefathers have done. The so-called white man, the so-called Fair. Arab, the Fair. so-called Chinese have to do it too. All right, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand it, man. I'm trying to get yeah. there. Yeah, you're but, all good. But you're all good. It's it's real difficult for me uh, to pick up that, and I imagine it might be difficult for you to pick up the atrocities that maybe some of your ancestors went through. Yeah, like, absolutely. Look, look, this if, is if this you is how we pay for it. If, if That's how we pay for it, yo. You it didn't is do difficult. anything wrong, right? You didn't do anything wrong. No, no, we, we did. We broke the law. We broke the law, statutes, and the commandments. See, and this is another thing that if you ever meet any other type of Israelites, they might be wearing like, you know, single or monocolored uniform and things of that nature. They might not speak about that, but we believe in accountability. Who I follow, we believe in accountability. The reason why we received this is because we disobeyed the law, statutes, and the commandments, right? You have children? If you don't mind me asking. I do. You do? All right. So your, your child your child disobeys you. Your child disrespects you. What are you to do as a parent? What should you do as a parent? Well, because I know re- the law is society. Yeah, me. for sure. You reprimand them, right? Yeah. It, it, this is our reprimanding right here. So we we had to pay, and we're still paying up until we get saved. We're still paying and getting reprimanded for what our fathers have done. You, you see what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's only justice. It's only fairness, right? So we, we are the men, women, children, because the, the Lord does not discriminate. If we mess up, we get punished for it. We get chastised for it. You know, so it's the same thing with Esau and Edom. You know, and the, one of the main problems with the globalists, at least because they, they're a bunch of, you know, Edomite, so-called white people, stuff like that. They don't want that to happen. They want to have their cake and eat it too. They want to be able to further oppress us and not get paid back for what their fathers and their grandfathers did. And so on and so forth. But the Lord doesn't move like that. I I understand that. And and I do. I I really do understand. But it's it's real fucking hard for me to swallow when I go home on the fucking tent tonight to understand the fact that, man, like, I want the best for you. I want the best for your children. The best for my children, too. I want the best for everybody's children. Everybody building, and, and then wh- where I go with this is I can advance all of this. I don't want to regress. I don't want to go back. Uh-huh. I hate this. Like this, this is fucking painful, man. It, it is. It's it pain- is. And and I know this, and it's okay, and I accept it. But it's not doing anybody any good. It's not doing you any good. Where can we go forward? Right. Where do we start right now? Where do we start right now? It, 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 it's, go, it's, going uh-huh. forward. It, it, so it, it starts with you, like I said, being an Israelite. Whether you know it or because I believe I'm an Israelite because I agree with what the scriptures say. I can come out here and teach the Bible things. That it starts with you believing if you're an Israelite. It starts with you, you know, uh, coinciding with what the Bible says. That's the only way really for, well, for Israel to move on because not everybody can move on from this. Not everybody's able yeah. to do that. They, yeah. Not everybody can still can understand that. Not everybody can. Disgusting. Yeah, right, right. So it starts with, if you're an Israelite, stuff like that. I'm out here every Saturday. We can wrap it up. We can chop it up and things of that nature and what the Lord will decide to see if you're worthy enough, if you're an Israelite to put the Holy Spirit on you, then what? Might be camping together. Who knows? I think I am indirectly. Like, I, I don't practice all these words and I don't go after it uh-huh. every single day. But I practice it in my own affairs right. and when I go to work every day I respect everybody I work with okay. I, I, I you, you wouldn't believe the shit that I'm involved with. I, I'm in drug court I'm in fucking this court and that court right I respect every single one of us I want every one of us to succeed mm-hmm. including you including my friend including the people I have dinner with right. I'll have dinner with you tomorrow and you can come over to my house, and hopefully we don't fucking hate each other. Like, I have I have neighbors that I hate their fucking dog because it barks, barks, barks. <laughs> but but I don't hate that them. Right. Like, like you said earlier, you, you said you're a peaceable man and things of that nature. I believe I'm a peaceable man, and, and my peace, my peace, I make it peaceful with the world by 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 you know telling them biblical prophecy. 
that's that's my definition of peace right here. Right, that's you fair, know, man. not by reason of you know what like what the world has you know been teaching me things that I need to. Because the world, all the world has taught me was, world was fucked balance. up, man. Yeah, absolutely. Fuck. I don't watch the news. I don't fucking pay attention to anything going on uh-huh. outside of my my own fucking shit. Like, I go to work. Okay. I go to I go to uh, I I live with my neighbors. That that's what I pay attention to. Right. I don't pay attention to the fucking talking heads and, and the fucking people on TV. Right. Fuck that. Like all of that stuff. Right. I hear you, man. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I'm you. Billy. Billy Kaya. It Kaya. Means Kaya. Lively. It means lively. You can just call me lively. But my name is Kaya. I'm out here, like I said, every Saturday. You want to come back, Billy? Chop it up and things of that nature. You're more than welcome to. Like I said, because you could be an Israel. I don't know what you go back to, but it's all about the spirit. That's what I'm out here to push. You understand? All right. That's all it is. I respect you, man. Likewise, man. All right. Thank you. Shalom. Peace. Peace. Shalom. Thank you, Kaya. You know, that's beautiful, man. And and that's that's what we, brothers, gotta we gotta stay cordial, man. Because considering the times, we're not in the time for us to operate, you know, on emotionalism and things of that nature. You know, he came up asking sincere questions. He came up being peaceable. And so what? We have to respond peaceable the same, man. You know, because what? We're spiritual, we're spiritual men. All right, this, the spirits, this, uh, the scriptures say, walk in the spirit. You know, the, the scriptures say, judge righteous judgment, man. All right, or spiritual man, judge of all things. Matter of fact, let me pull that real quick. Okay? The scriptures say, a spiritual man, judge of all things. Let me get that real quick. Yep, this is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. It says, But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. So there you go, man. All right, and, and Lord's willing, I'm a spiritual man. All right, but you know, all the brothers that, you know, come out and prophesy, okay, we can't, we can be judged of no man. All right, nobody can point a finger at us because we're spiritual, because we're of the Lord, man. We have the Lord's coding and protection on us, okay? But us, we can go out and we can judge the world. We could condemn it or we could uh, uh, commend it and things of that nature, okay, by, by, by way of the scriptures, man. All right, and it looks like a whole lot of condemnation, more than commendation, is coming to, the, to this uh, US, of a, uh, U.S. of A, okay? We judge the world by, by way of the scriptures, not through our own emotions, man. All right, the scriptures filter those things out, you know, because what, this, this, isn't, this, isn't, this isn't of our own judgment, this is of the Lord's judgment. All right, America being you know put down. That's the Lord's will. That's the Lord's judgment. All right, somebody dying. It might be a woman. It might be a child. It might, it might be a senior citizen. Okay, it might be a quote unquote good man or whatever the case is. It's the Lord's will, man. It's not of our own will. All right, the heavenly Father and, and the Son are the deciding factors of, of of people's you know fate, man. Okay, and that's and that's just it. That's it. Just like Esau Edom going into captivity, man. All right, in the kingdom. That's the Lord's will. We didn't we didn't make that up. We didn't you know, we we didn't make that of our own words, man. Okay? The Lord put that in our hearts. The Lord put that in our minds. The Lord had us put it in this book. Okay? And it is like like I said, it is what it is. All right? But that was the point on that. Um Going back to the topic at hand, all right, the Lord is going to rise up against these other nations that were against us for so long, that are against us right now, man, okay, and rightfully so, all right, because what, well, we, 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 uh, we, we, we paid enough, so to speak, all right, we paid enough, all right, the time for the Lord to deliver us from this hellhole, this captivity is at hand, that time is, is drawing very near, you know, our punishment, the punishment of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, our punishment is almost up, thankfully. Okay? We want to go home. All right? We want to be with our families. We want to finally be at rest. All right? We want wickedness to, we want the lights of wickedness to be put out. All right? The Illuminati. All right? 
We want the light of wickedness to be put out, man. All right? And so the Lord, what? He's going to, you know, uh, uh, gather these nations up to go to war with each other, you know, for the controversy of Zion. All right? And the Lord, what? Is ultimately going to come out on top, man. You know? But let me get this real quick. This is the book of Zephaniah, Tazapania, chapter 3, verse 8. It says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. Because what? This, this fight that's being brought to America is not a physical fight. All right, well, for us, for Israelites, okay, there is going to be a physical fight. There's soldiers over here right now, Arabs up the street, okay? The Chinese walking around in, 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 in uh, 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 what is it, Texas and California, so on and so forth. All right, buying land over here and all this other shit. Okay? There is going to be a physical fight, but this physical fight that's coming this way is not for you, Jacob. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We fight spiritually. So the Lord said what? Wait ye upon me. It says, until the day that I rise up to the prey. Yeah, Yahweh Shai, or the world calls Jesus Christ, is going to rise up to the prey. All right, the prey talking about these other nations, man, because they're, they're, they're under his foot, man. All right, they're below him. Okay? It says, for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So there you go, man. All right? This place is going to be devoured with the fire of his jealousy. They, they, there it goes again, man. All right? This is the day that we're waiting for, the day of the Lord. All right? 200 million missiles eating this place up. That's the day that we're, we're waiting for. Okay? That's our patience. That's our faith. You know? We want the Lord to rescue us from this hellhole, man. I'm tired of this place, man. Okay? I'm tired of paying taxes, bills, rent, mortgage. Okay? I'm tired of eating garbage food. You know? What the hell is up with that? You go to the supermarket, you got to buy packaged food that says non-GMO, organic, so on and so forth, yada, yada, yada. We should have our own food, man, and, and resources in general. But that's how twisted up that this damn place is, man. That's how twisted up and mangled this place is. Total unrighteousness, man. Okay? The men today is the, are the weakest they have ever been. You know, low testosterone, no dignity, no integrity. All right, the women are the biggest sluts and whores. Okay? This place is bugged out, man. And this is why what? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Jake, this is why you need to be crying, man. This is why you need to be crying out for the Lord to come save you, to come save us. This is why we need to be crying out, man. Tired of this place, man. Can't say it enough. You know? But the Lord said, wait on him. Alright? Don't go and roll in the uh in the military, you know, hiding fringes under your suit. <laughs> you know, Jake is a damn idiot. <laughs> okay? Remember that this is a spiritual war for right now. This is a spiritual war that we're fighting, man. Until our king comes back. The real king. Okay, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. All right, that's what we're waiting for, man. All right. But that was the point on that. Let me get this. This is the book of Second Ezra. Chapter 16, verse 9. It says, A fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it? Yeah, that, that fire. All right, that, that fire is, is talking about, you know, the actual fire, man. Once again, the, the 200 million missiles, man, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay? The scripture said, Fire shall go forth from his wrath, man. 
And who is he that can quench it, man? Can you stop the, the terrifying power of the Most High? Or of his son? Can you quench it? Can you, can you tell the Lord to calm hey, Just calm down, Lord. Chill out, bro. Absolutely not, man. All right? The Lord is angry with this place called America. Verse 10, 2nd Hedges 16 to 10. It says, he shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Yeah, the, the, the Lord, the Lord is, is sending warnings, man. All right, these, these uh, 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 mountains and volcanoes erupting and about to erupt. Okay, these earthquakes, you know, all of those things I was prophesied before is happening right now, man. All right. From uh, Matthew the 24th chapter. All of that is happening right now. Okay, earthquakes in diverse places, plagues, pestilence, wars and rumors of wars. All of that is happening right now, man. That's how you know the description is true. Okay, verse 11. It says, The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? <laughs> That's the boss talk for real. All right, the scriptures say, The Lord shall threaten, man. Okay? The Lord don't miss, man. The Lord wants you X'd out. You're going to get X'd out, man. Man, woman, child, elderly. Okay? Unborn, cat, dog, chupacabra. It don't matter who or what you are, man. The Lord is going to X you out if he wants you X'd out. Do you know? And the Lord has been visiting a lot of you celebrities and women. Okay? The Lord has been visiting a lot, a lot, a lot of you celebrities and women, man. Okay. Early this week or last week, one of the two. Now you, you, you had some, some, some psycho in New York going around punching women in the head, man. Punching women in the face. <laughs> Spirits of uh, vengeance is being sent out at an old time high. Look at the judgment that's been going out on you females, man. Wild. You know. Because the humbling is coming your way, man. A lot of you females, you have been wicked for too long, and I'm not gonna make this about you, all right? Maybe a lesson for another day, all right? But you wicked women is, is, is getting judged, man, at an all time high, all right? All right, now bless him, you know? And going out, stepping, on your, uh, stepping out on your man, blowing every damn rod, okay? You, you weaponize, you weaponize your, 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 your so called goods against us. Are you weaponized the children against the men? Okay. You think the Lord not going to see you wicked ass women for that? The Lord is definitely going to pay y'all back, man. He's been paying y'all back. All right. You didn't even see the worst of it yet, man. See what the hell is going over, going on over there in New York City and California? All those damn uh, 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 prostitutes standing around all over the place, man. Okay. A lot of women have given up. A lot of women have given up, man. You know, with your five, six, seven, eight, twelve thousand kids, man, about a whole bunch of different baby daddies. Of course, y'all gonna give up. You know, because ain't nothing else a man can really do with you. Because what? You're not feminine. All right, your box has been beaten to smithereens. What? Well, what else? What? What can a man really do with you? Coming forth with these with these ultimatums and these demands, yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna meet a high value man, and he gonna do this and that, yada yada. yada. Shut, shut up, man. Lord ain't dealing with you, wicked. You, you here it is. You are, you are a whole life whole, man. No integrity, man, at all. You know, but it is what it is, man. And and, and that's why America gotta pay. Because America, just like women, wants to have its cake and eat it too. Like I was telling Billy earlier, man. <laughs> you want to keep us oppressed, all right, and not get paid back for what you've been doing to us for the longest, man. Nah, it, 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 it's not going to happen like it's not going to happen like that, man. All right, that's why the scriptures say what? Uh, 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 Esau, Edom, all right, is only going to rule but a short time, man. He know if he have but a short time. 
the Lord has appointed him his bowels that he cannot pass. All right? But going back to 2 Edges 16 and 11, it says, The Lord shall threaten, or who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? Verse 12, The earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof. The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled. And the fishes thereof also before the Lord, and before the glory of his power. All right, so the earth and the sea is, is, is shaken up. The earth, the sea, and the sky is shaken up. It's going to be shaken up in, this, in that time, in the day of the Lord. The wrath of his greatness, man. The wrath of his coming. Verse 13, it says, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Those arrows, all right? It's talking about the ICBMs, okay? They're going to be shot into the ends of the world, man. All these nations, once again, these nations are not creating these missiles to just put them up for show. They're going to use them. It's inevitable. All right? This has to happen because it's the Lord's will. Just like it was the Lord's will to flood the earth the first time, it's going to happen again in this time. All right? And you people are going to witness it, man. All right? Verse 14, 2 Andrew 16 and 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come up, it says, until they come upon the earth. It says, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. Woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Yeah. Ezra, or, or Isaiah, he said, woe is me. You know, death to me. You know, who shall deliver me in those days, man? All right? Because, because what? This is a vision. This was written thousands of years ago. This is a vision that Ezra saw. You know? And he said, this is terrible. Death to me if I don't get delivered, man. You know? So he's asking, he said, who shall deliver me in those days, man? Okay? All you little guys out here, all right, with your wives, you know, you got no backbone, all right? What are you going to do when you see a, 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 a Russian troop or, or a Chinese troop grab up your woman and ravish her right before your eyes, man? Bound you up and ravish your woman right before your eyes, man? You still going to be acting like a tough guy? Nah, man, you're going to be bawling, crying your eyes out, man. All right, you mothers, all right, when you get your children, you know, uh, sliced up right before your eyes, you're still going to be like, I'm independent, I don't need no man, yada, yada, yada. No, man, you're going to be too busy screaming and shrieking for fear of your life. All right? Hey, the Lord is terrible, man. The Lord is, hey, the Lord is truly terrible, man. He's a terrifying God. That's why one of his titles is Allah which means terrible and demon-like power, man. The Lord is the Lord is terrifying, bro. A lot of you people are gonna know the God of the Bible like never before, man. Y'all think God is all love and hugs and kisses and all this other stuff, man. Not, the, the Lord is about war. It's written all throughout the Bible. Okay? The Lord took out a lot of his own people because they wasn't right. So how much more the rest of you people? You know? But that was the point on that. Let me get this and I'll close out through the spirit. This is the book of Malachi chapter 4, Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts. There goes that word host again. All right? That means armies. It says that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. All right, so there you go, man. The day is coming that's going to burn as an oven, man. 
All right, it's about to be real hot out here in America, man. Not microwave hot, all right? One of them wood fires, ancient world oven hots, man. It's about to be crazy out here. Okay? We living in those times, man. All right? Smoke all in the air. You ain't gonna know day from night. Okay? Chased by robotics, chased by troops and soldiers. You know, all of that is coming to an America near you, man. Whether you want to believe it or not. Okay? So now's the time, Jake. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent. You know? Inquire about your salvation, man. All right, figure out how to get saved. Okay? Hearken unto the prophets while they're still here, man. All right? Because what? In the time that they, you know, at, at the time that we can't go out to the highways and the hedges, y'all gonna know that a prophet have been among you. All right, all ye stiff-necked and hard-hearted. All right? But that was the end of my lesson. Lord's willing, I can walk with you. Brothers and sisters, edified through the Spirit. I'm gonna say, call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rakaq, Badash. Shalom.